Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. Today, I'm going to show you how to make yogurt, guys. I'm so excited about this particular recipe because I recently discovered how to make yogurt. First of all, yogurt is a staple in my house. I have spent so much money buying yogurt from the supermarket, but I recently discovered how to make yogurt at home. You guys. The process is super duper easy and the ingredients required are so minimal that I wondered to myself, why have I been spending so much money buying yogurt at the supermarket? Like really? So I have practiced making yogurt over time for about I think three times now and I've mastered the art and I decided to come and share the recipe with you all so that I can help someone save a lot of money, <laughs> especially if you are a yogurt lover like myself. Like I said before, the recipe is very, very easy and anyone can literally make this from the comfort of their kitchen and the ingredients are very affordable and easily accessible as well. I promise you guys, after watching this video, you will not spend a dime buying yogurt from the supermarket again. I'll also show you how to make a simple breakfast bowl with your freshly made yogurt that you can enjoy for breakfast any time of the week. Before we go into the cooking action, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell just right beside it so you can get instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you like this video after watching it, if you found the video helpful, please kindly give us a thumbs up so that we know that you love the video, okay? Alright guys, now let's go right into this yoga making action. It's easy peasy all the way and I promise you, you're definitely going to like this one. Yogurt is simply a kind of food that's produced by the bacterial fermentation of milk. And the bacteria used to make yogurt is known as yogurt culture or starter. There are two easy ways to get the yogurt starter. One, either you purchase a store-bought yogurt with live cultures in them from the supermarket and use a scoop or two to make your own batch of yogurt. Or, or you can make your own yogurt starter from scratch, which requires just three ingredients some powdered milk, chili peppers or lemon, and some water. I'm using this long chili peppers, but you can use any chili pepper of your choice. Just ensure the green stalk is still attached to it. Alternatively, you can use lemon or lime. The bacteria contained in either of these ingredients is what ferments the milk turning the lactose sugar in the milk into lactic acid. The lactic acid is what causes the milk to thicken up and taste kind of tart as it ferments. With that being said, I will show you what the starter looks like using these two ingredients. Begin by adding the powdered milk into a bowl followed by some room temperature water. Alternatively, you can use some store-bought liquid milk. Mix until completely dissolved. Then transfer the milk to a pot on medium heat. Bring to a light simmer and begin stirring until it starts to boil. This should take roughly about five to six minutes. Afterwards, take the milk off the heat and allow to cool down till it's about 110 degrees centigrade. Using a food thermometer to check the temperature is best, but if you don't have one, you can use your sense of touch. So once you touch the milk and it's no longer too hot to handle, but it isn't cold, just in between hot and warm, then you know it's ready for the next step. Pour the milk into a mixing bowl, but because I'm showing you what it looks like with two different ingredients, I'll pour into two different bowls. Next, add the chili pepper with the green stalk into one of the bowls, ensuring it is completely submerged. Then slit the lemon open and then add the second bowl, ensuring that the slit side is facing down. Remember that you can use either of the two. I'm only showing you what it will look like using either of them, okay? Cover with plastic wrap or a tightly fitted lid and place in a very warm place for 12 to 24 hours. You guys, wherever you are putting this has to be very warm as the warmth is a major requirement in the fermentation process. I put mine in my microwave and covered with the kitchen cloth. Ever so often, I would turn on the microwave for a few seconds only to heat it up and create a warm environment for the starter, and then I turn it right back off. After about 15 hours, it should have set quite nicely. Remove the peppers and lemon, and what you get is 
something like a semi-liquid consistency. I'll use the starter made with the peppers to make the yogurt. You can totally skip this entire process of creating a starter from scratch by simply buying some store-bought yogurt that already has live cultures in them to make your first batch of yogurt. Then to make subsequent batches, you just ensure to scoop out some from the first batch you have made to use as the starter for the next batch. Now to make the yogurt proper. Add the powdered milk into a large mixing bowl. I am using some full cream powdered milk, also known as whole milk. Now you can also use store-bought liquid milk if that's what you have. Then add some water into the powdered milk. The quantity of milk and water will be determined by how much yogurt you want to make and how creamy you want it to be. If you want it creamy, don't add a lot of water. Mix to dissolve the milk in the water. Grab the dissolved milk and pour into a pot on medium heat. Bring to a light simmer and begin stirring to prevent it from burning. When the milk reaches a boil, take it off the heat immediately. Again, leave it to cool down till it's about 110 degrees centigrade or not so hot when you dip your fingers into it. If a film has formed on top like this one, gently drag it to the side of the pot with a spoon or a spatula and then take it out. It will come off easily. After the milk has cooled down, take few scoops and put in the bowl with the starter. Mix to combine thoroughly and then pour the mixture into the pot with the rest of the milk. Mix again to combine everything together. Afterwards, cover the pot with a lid. I also covered mine with kitchen napkin just to create a warm environment for the milk to ferment. Again, place in a very warm place and allow to ferment another 12 to 24 hours. Remember, it needs to be in a very warm place for the starter or culture to be activated. After leaving it to ferment in a warm place for 16 hours and then placing in the fridge afterwards to chill overnight, this is what it looks like guys. It looks a bit crumbly. Now you can either pack it up like this in a Tupperware and store in the fridge and use it whenever you want or you can smoothen it out by simply adding it to a blender. Blitz on medium speed for about 30 seconds or until a smooth puree is formed. If you want a very thick yogurt, simply run the yogurt through a cheesecloth to strain off the liquid popularly known as whey. I'll show you how to do that in another video and then I would also show you how to make Greek yogurt. You can store the yogurt in the fridge for up to 7 to 10 days and the longer it sits in the fridge, the thicker the yogurt gets. After storing the yogurt for about an hour in my very cold fridge, look at how it is sticking up nicely. So the longer it sits in the fridge, the thicker it gets. Do not forget to scoop out some of the yogurt for when you want to make your next batch so you don't have to repeat the process of making a starter from scratch. An easy breakfast you can try with your freshly made yogurt is this beautiful breakfast bowl that takes all of one minute to create. Simply add some of your freshly made yogurt, bananas, rolled oats and some honey. Blend till completely pureed. Now you can add whatever you desire to this blender, it's totally up to you but I like to keep things very simple. Anyways, pour in a bowl and then top with any toppings of your choice. I used some apple and banana slices and some granola and then drizzled some honey to create a very nice pattern on the top. And that's it guys. Easy peasy is the word guys, like literally. Apart from the long waiting period, which I don't think causes any stress. <laughs> I think that this is one of the easiest recipes to recreate. Do not forget to always take out about two or three tablespoons of yogurt and save it for when you want to make your next batch of yogurt, okay? All right, guys, if you've been recreating this recipe, please do not forget to take a picture and upload to your Facebook, Instagram stories and tag me at Delicious Food so that I can see all of your recreations. Your recreations make me so happy and keep me super inspired that you love my recipes. 
All right, guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth watching this delicious recipe. Until then, it was very kind to one another. Love yourselves generously, and it's me, the queen of fun and fast cooking. Signing out right now. I love you all. Take care.